So I just had an interesting visit down to the shop locally that sells the only lathe that I could buy immediately here where I live. I could actually walk into the store and buy one. Thing is, they were never out of the boxes. They only existed boxed. And I knew they were Sikh-based lathes. I'd already done all the research and decided on this model here, the Optimum, which is a different lathe. And today I saw one that was unboxed in store. And I was surprised and a little bit shocked to see just how much smaller and more lightweight and overall cheaper looking it was. And so I took out my camera and did a video and I'll show you that right now. Well, I've just come across this, uh, this is a tool shed lathe. This is the only lathe I could buy locally without ordering it in. And this is like a Sieg based lathe, so it's got the 80 mil chuck. And this is the first time I actually see one in person. All prior research was based on what I saw on the internet. And I'm telling you, this is not even remotely as nice as the, um, as the Optimum. Oh God, everything about it. It's much lighter, smaller, everything's tiny. It's already bent. Tiny, little tiny chuck. Uh, everything, the lead screw's tiny. No, I'm telling you, not even remotely as nice as the Optimum. So I'm very happy with what I purchased. The Optimum's only uh, about 20% more than this in price, locally. So yeah, interesting. Oh, it's amazing how small an 80 mil chuck is. It's tiny. Yeah, how about that? Oh, well, interesting to get my hands on one and give it a feel. Yeah. All right, well, I'm glad I purchased the other one. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. So that was uh, certainly interesting. Um, you know, I pointed out quite a few differences in terms of the overall size. There's a definite um, better quality to this lathe. These are not a fine Swiss instrument, of course, but it's clearly a step up in, in just about every way. All of the parts here, these, the screw even was much finer. The, everything here was tiny. Um, obviously the ways haven't got these um, dual ways. Didn't have this kind of lock at all. Everything I felt was much, a little bit uh, crummier feeling is all I can say, if, if I can put it like that. Now I don't want to put anyone down for having bought one of those lays because in many places that's the only choice. And I would have bought one of those if this hadn't been a choice here in my country. And because this was, I spent the time finding out the differences and figuring out which one I was going to buy. I'm very happy with the result. And uh, there we go. Uh, there's a whole video with, a, with an overview of this lathe on my channel that goes into all those details. And now I've seen one in person and, and had my hands on it. I can say that um, pretty much everything I said is bang on. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.